Hey, this is The Rigetti Show, and I'm Michael Cardenas. <laughs> and I'm Susan Elias. That was a pretty cool open. Yeah, it was. Getting into the Christmas spirit. It was all special effects-y. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. So what are you doing for Christmas? For Christmas, I'm just going to hang out with my family. I think this weekend we might get our tree, hopefully. Oh, you haven't gotten so any? No, not yet, because oh. my, my dad went out of town, so he's normally the guy that the guy gets the tree. The guy who gets it? Yeah. Yeah. We this um, was a chopping down motion, but. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. But so you actually like, actually go and pick it. I think so. Oh okay. Uh, I don't really know. That's cool. But anyways. Ha uh, ha have you noticed that it's been getting really cold lately? Yeah, it has. Do you know what would be so cool to do? Because it's getting cold. Hot chocolate. <laughs> oh yeah. I think there's a segment on some hot chocolate. Why don't we go check it out? Cool. Oh, Hannah Kayla's cooking show. Yeah. Lamuz, Ananas, Jus d'Orange, Bref, Soup de Jour, Camembert. Welcome back to Hannah Kayla's Cooking Show. This is a special edition because Christmas is coming up, so we're going to make not only hot chocolate, but peppermint hot chocolate with candy canes. So we're getting students a fun to love and stay tuned and watch us how to make peppermint hot chocolate. To start off your peppermint cuddly cocoa, you have to boil two cups of water. After the two cups of water are boiled, you pour it in there and you add three full teaspoons. After your hot chocolate mix is mixed smoothly with the hot water, you add peppermint extract. Two drops in each cup. After you mix the peppermint and hot chocolate oh so well, you then add a handful of mini marshmallows. So after the marshmallows, peppermint extract, extract, excuse me, and the hot cocoa is all mixed together. Add a candy cane, it adds a little festive flair to it. And enjoy! Stay tuned for our next show. That's all we have time for today. That, pep that peppermint ice cream sure does make me feel closer and closer to Christmas Day. <laughs> yeah, I really like hot chocolate, like when I'm by a fire and watching a movie. Really? That's yeah, that sounds it's, comfortable. It's pretty cool. You're nice. Like just safe read a book. Yeah, read a book that right by the fire. Drink some hot chocolate by the fire. Yeah. It sound, sounds pretty good. I like marshmallows in my hot chocolate. Well, attention to all AP students. The AP test will go on sale starting Tuesday until Monday, March 2nd, 2005, in the business office. They will cost, uh, each test will cost $76, and with a waiver, it is $56. Also, friends of the community club will be setting Santa Grams outside of the career center today through Friday. You can send messages to your friends or that special someone. Santa's helpers will deliver what Santa Grams do, uh, to deliver Santa Grams to classrooms on the last school, school day, and we receive winter break, and we will leave for winter break for all King of Hearts candidates. Hold on a second. Sorry. For all King of Heart candidates, there will be a mandatory meeting today and December 10th at lunch in the ASB office uh, as petitions will be due at the uh, meeting. So don't forget to get a signature from your club advisor. Sorry <laughs> about that. S so much to say. So little It time. is. There is a lot to say. Yeah. But yeah. I, are, are you going to try and go out for King of Hearts to get... Be a candidate? I don't think so. I want to secretly get Kyle. Really? You that would be No, but hilarious. I guess it's not a secret. Oh, not but anymore. Anyway, I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that would yeah. be that would be definitely interesting. So, have you ever wondered about all the people at the school that like fix the computers? Um, you know what? I no, but aren't they located in like the 200 block their I office? Think, I think so. Well, they're really cool guys, and why don't we check out what they do? Check that out. Ah, 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 
some lip for the bill, some gin for the bill. Yeah. Yeah. She wine for the bill, grind for the bill. Oh. Yeah. She used to be the sweetest. Some steel for the bill, if they gotta pay the bill. Yeah. Yeah. She used to be the sweetest. Two nice white clap paint con, we see on the bill. Oh. This is Lazaro. We both worked for the IT department here at Rigetti, so we fix all the computers and network systems. Oh, I love my job. This is probably the best job I've ever had before. Actually, I got oh, yeah, the best job ever. Uh, no stress at all. I used to have an uh, office job before. There's always times for certain things. Um, computers, won't work. computers do their own little things as well. Uh, I went to Poly and I got a degree in information systems, management information systems, and just applied here, got the job right away. And some good experience in the IT world. Uh, I went to Hancock and it's business administration, nothing to do with computers, but while I was there, I worked with their IT department as well. So, and then after that, I came to the district work in uh, two other positions and then moved into the IT department. I think every, almost everybody can do it, except they just have to uh, be a little bit technology, technological uh, savvy, I guess. Technologically literate. Yes. Yeah, and they also need to be open and be able to talk to people. I mean, you gotta talk to admin, you gotta talk to the teachers, and then occasionally you gotta talk to a student, and you gotta talk to your boss. You gotta be able to do the set your own schedule, work your own pace, because no one really supervises you, so they give you tasks to do, teachers call in, put in work orders, and your boss calls in and gives you work to do. And, but you manage yourself throughout the day, and you make sure you can stay on topic and so stay on task and get the job done. Good management skills. Well, Susan, we really know what those technicians do. They really keep our school running smoothly, don't yeah, they? They make sure all our computers are running well. That's right. I don't know what we would do without them. Our, pro our computers probably wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah. But um, well. do, you, do you remember when I was telling everybody about those uh, breast cancer mm -hmm. lids with the yogurts? I just want to kind of uh, repeat that again. Um, if you save those, um, it's uh, December 31st, 2008, when you have to get those in. That's di this December 31st, so. Then does it start up next year for 2009? Um, I'm pretty sure. I think they do it a certain amount of time through the year. That's pretty cool. But well, I'm Michael Cardenas. And I'm Susan S. And this, this is the, the show. show.